Why do women's vaginas fall out? I'm gonna talk about pelvic organ prolapse. So pelvic organ prolapse is when the pelvic organs that are normally supported inside and above the vagina are falling through the vagina and herniating out. This can be the uterus, the rectum, the bladder, vaginal walls, or combination. And it literally is like somebody is taking a woman's body and turning it inside out through the vagina. I know really creepy and freaky it sounds. Although pelvic organ prolapse sounds really creepy and freaky, it's rarely, rarely serious or life-threatening. Now, that doesn't mean that you should ignore it, but it's not an emergency. So why does this even happen? Like, how do our bodies fail us like this? Well, the pelvic floor or pelvic organs are supported by a network of muscles and connective tissue that work together to support things so that while we're upright, while we're active, while we're doing things, our organs are inside. But there are things that happen within our lives that can affect and weaken this support structure or weaken our pelvic floor. Let's talk about some of these risk factors. So the number one biggest risk factor is pregnancy and childbirth. Carrying a baby for almost 10 months and going through childbirth places a tremendous strain on the pelvic muscle and connective tissue network. And each subsequent pregnancy and childbirth adds to the risk. So it just kind of compounds the more children that are had. Second, age. As we get older, so does our body. And the natural wear and tear of these connective tissue connections and muscles happen in our pelvic floor. And so as vulva owners of women age, so does this risk increase of pelvic organ prolapse. Number three, weight. The more our bodies have to carry, the more mass our bodies have to carry, the more strain pelvic floor network has to hold. And so that increases the weakness that can happen and therefore increases the risk of pelvic organ prolapse. Number four, chronic rise in abdominal or pelvic pressure. What am I talking about? I'm talking about chronic coughers. I'm talking about weight lifters. I'm talking about chronic constipation and straining. Those things that cause a rise in our abdominal and pelvic pressure chronically or repeatedly put persistent strain on our pelvic floor network. If you're chronically coughing because you smoke, <coughs> That is persistent strain that your pelvic floor is seeing. If you're a weightlifter, which is, hey, looks great for your body, but can increase the strain on your pelvic floor. One common scenario that I see is young athletes, especially cross country runners or marathon runners. That persistent pace or that persistent strain can weaken the pelvic floor network. Number five, connective tissue diseases or disorders. Now these are rare, most of which are congenital diseases that affect our normal connective tissue. Diseases like Ehlers-Danlos or Marfan syndrome can absolutely increase the risk of prolapse in women. Because humans with penises or men do not have a vaginal canal, they do not get pelvic organ prolapse. However, there is something called rectal prolapse, which is essentially the same thing that can happen in the vagina, but in the rectum. The, rect the inside of the rectum can come inside out and protrude from the rectal opening or the anus. And this can actually happen in both vulva owners and penis owners. I hope you learned something today. If you are affected by pelvic organ prolapse, please go see a specialist like me. You can get your dignity back, you can get your vagina back, and you can restore your pelvic floor. Go ahead, you know what to do. Like this video, comment below, and subscribe so you can join me next Wednesday for more.